Oh, well. Um, thank you, gentlemen. It started off about 20 years ago as a serious talk and explosive to a round table society, funny enough. And um, now it's resolved itself to this load of bloody rubbish you're going to listen to tonight. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I uh, did go, I used to go to rotary clubs as well as round table societies, but I haven't been to many just lately because I went to the inner wheel, is it? about two years ago <laughs> and I happened to be there and saying I haven't come here ladies to tell you about being blasted into eternity with a guided missile or into maternity with a guided muscle <laughs> and, and uh, it, it seems to have na knackered it a bit for the rotary club <laughs> uh, so Somebody wrote in the magazine, we like to conduct our dues in the best possible manner. Keep that bloody peasant out. So, <laughs> but um, living where I do, in the swamp part of Cheshire, and having seen a psychiatrist, you know, you get to that stage like the bloke that used to come in the local pub and piss up the bar every night. <laughs> And, and uh, he was in a fortnight later, he, he said, I'm cured. And, and just then he whipped it out and there's all steam up the bar again. And somebody said, I thought you said you were cured. He said, I am. He said, I just don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, you will notice, gentlemen, we have a glass of water on the table. As I say, this is a technical talk on explosives. So if I'm on fire and the table's on fire, for Christ's sake, pour that over me. <laughs> you can imagine that just <laughs> about sums it up. You know as much about this job as I do. Anyway, uh, I will take in my right hand a stick of jelly knife. Now then, <laughs> you may smoke. Uh, you may even steam a bit if this goes up. <laughs> This, this is what they call a bit of group one. Taped to your car engine block and detonated, you don't pick it up, you brush it up. <laughs> so, now then, just to show you what happens, or how it happens, and this is the time where we've had some near tragedies. <laughs> we take uh, number six, plain as I detonator, which we insinuate on the end of the fuse. Now then, we crimp it on with the approved nippers. <laughs> so, having prodded a hole in that, we stuff the detonator up the orifice we have made. Now we have a blast bomb. I know these are a little more than 18-inch brick walls, but I think by the look of it, this should do it. Now then. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner or later, someone will say, "Could you? can you blow up a place like this? And by Christ, looking at those stairs when I was coming up, it's not going to take a lot. <laughs> they, uh, as I say, have a bloody good laugh. <laughs> have you ever tried to...